profile percentage. And the last thing I'll just talk about before I talk about perhaps some specific entry examples, and that is the timing of entry. And again, perhaps a critical uh, component for some people. I'll just draw up my nice, steady, medium-term uptrend. And uh, here it is here. I won't draw in daily bars, just a nice line chart. Here it is. I'm now trading medium term. I'm identifying this medium term uptrend, higher peaks and higher troughs. This is perhaps the three month extension from the previous one and then the three months consolidation beforehand. Let's say I want to get in around this particular period of time here. So we've been going for a good uh, several weeks of just moving higher. I now want to execute a trade and get in on this medium term uptrend. How critical is the timing of the entry in this particular trade? I don't think it's critical at all. I don't think it's that important at all. Let me give you an example. We've identified the higher peaks and we've now identified a higher trough. Let's say we don't know from here onwards. So we've had one or two days of a short term reversal and I'm thinking this is just continuing on. Let's just get in now. Do we get in here? Can we get in here? Does it matter? I would argue it really doesn't matter. Some people would wait and say, here's the previous peak. For this to be a continuation of the medium term uptrend, it needs to achieve another higher peak. Therefore, when it passes through that level there, we are now convinced this is just continuing on, higher term, uh, medium term uptrend continuing on its way. Others may say, yeah, that's all well and good, but I'd rather just get in that little bit earlier. And perhaps when I see the trough forming, and a couple of days going up, I'm convinced that this is going to continue higher and therefore I'll get in down here. And again, does it matter? I don't think it does. Personally, I will wait until this point here. Now, you know what this means? In most of my trades, within a week, I'm actually down. So on that trade, within three, four, five days, the balance of that trade is actually negative. Almost guaranteed. You know why? Because I've got in at that point there, it's gone up the next day or two and then come back down to here and guess what? I'm in the red. Almost guaranteed. Do I care? No. And here's the important thing. The, the reason why I don't care is because my stop loss that I place is so far away that even if it does this business and move back down again and then move, my, my stop loss isn't going to be touched. So I'm going to be in the trade. Now, the other thing to argue against this, I guess, is say, hang on a second, why get in here when you can get in here? You can pick up another cent, uh, six cents by getting in a little bit earlier. Well, I guess the payoff is the confirmation that the medium term trend is continuing to go higher. And this six cents that I've missed out on that you got, again, in six months time when I close this trade, I hope that six cents is totally insignificant, totally insignificant. So timing wise, I don't think for medium term trading, it is really that critical. See my stop loss in this entry, let's say I entered right there, my stop loss will probably be this right there. And I'll talk about this uh, after the next break. So, you know, it's going to be way down here. So this can come down for the next few days and I couldn't care. If my balance on that trade just goes into the red a little bit, couldn't care. Just part of medium term trading. So uh, my stop's way down here, and when it reverses and goes back up higher, now I'm going to start moving my stop up. But I'm going to keep it away from the price. I don't want to be out in two days just because it turns around and comes back. Okay. Now, the relevance of timing and how critical that is for short-term trading where all we're trying to get out is this to here, and again here until here, to me, timing is certainly that little bit more critical. There's no doubt about it. And perhaps we just wait for one or two days of reversal and then we are in, waiting for the next peak to be cleared. The trade's almost over. That's no good at all. <coughs> so timing, as we narrow the time frame down, is absolutely critical. And for those in the room who trade those CFDs or the futures or the trading all those currencies, trading is really, uh, sorry, the timing of your entry is really critical. Really critical. But those people, remember the one hour a week routine? the medium term trading. You know, I do a scan on the weekend. I want to get in on something. 
uh, if I wait a few days, I say, yeah, it's not really that critical. It's not really that critical because I want to be in that trade for six months. And if I miss out on the first three days of that trade, so what? It's not really that important. I used to think timing was critical. I used to think it was everything. But when, we adopted, when I adopted this medium-term approach, I realised it's not really that important. And if I miss out on those six or eight cents, it doesn't bother me.